focus a lot on how to prep you and your family for hurricane season, but what about your animals? Meteorologist Caroline Carruthers has details on how to prep your pets and livestock for a storm. Our pets are a part of our family. My goal with this is to keep you safe, to keep your pet safe, and to keep your family together. To make sure this happens, you have to start with putting together an emergency kit for your pet. You will need a week's worth of food and water, a two-week supply of medications, leashes, potty pads for your pet to go to the bathroom when it's not safe to go outside, collars, paperwork, and a transport container if you are taking your pet to a shelter or hotel. Some shelters don't allow snakes. I think everything else pretty much flies. Before you bring your animal anywhere, be sure to call ahead to make sure the shelter or hotel allows them to stay with you. Or call your vet to see if they can board your pet. Vaccines are really important, um, and especially for if you're going to board your dog or if they have to go to a kennel. It's important to have their vaccines up to date because there are a lot of airborne respiratory illnesses. Vaccines including flea, tick, kennel cough, and heartworm take anywhere between two and six weeks to take effect, so it's better to just keep them up to date. If your pet does have storm anxiety, check with your vet about noise-specific anxiety medications. Also, make sure your pet has some form of identification, such as a microchip. You have to go online and register the microchip to you, or else it's just going to come back to the veterinary office you got it from, the breeder that you got it from. It is also a good idea to have a picture of you and your pet handy. Now, we've covered animals that live in your home, but what about livestock, like horses, pigs, and cows? Sometimes it's, it's liable to take us a week to get ready. When a storm is coming with all livestock, it's important to walk the perimeter of your land, make sure all of the gates are latched, and check all the fencing as well. Also, make sure to open interior gates. With field animals, such as horses and cows, putting them in a barn is actually not the safest option since the barn could collapse with the animals trapped inside. Cattle have a natural instinct when a storm's coming to, to be able to find a low-lying area, maybe out of the wind or behind the trees or um, somewhere like that to try to get out of harm's way. Also, make sure your livestock have ID tags attached to them in case they get out. One of the things you really want to be sure you have enough of are materials to fix your fences, your wire, your posts, your nails, staples. A week's supply of food and water is also important. Meteorologist Caroline Carruthers, WKRG News 5.